Brothers and sisters of the Slash Train, it's your brother Wisdom. What's going on, guys? All right, we're going to continue the planet of the angels. Um, we've been discussing a lot of things. Um, we as the angelic beings of this world, you know, especially the periodic table of elements that we named off because you have to understand this. Now, understand that the table of elements, um, Actually, all, all the elements and table elements have some type of radioactive energy, all right, um, especially when combined. Um, one thing that we fell off from was orgone, all right, orgone intelligence. This is a representation of orgone. Orgone is pyramid, all right. And uh, we have pyramids all over the planet, all right? Um, just like we have the, you know, we created the wooden pyramid that we um working on. We have wooden pyramids. We have um, stone pyramids. The pyramids that are still standing are made of a special material that we got from another planet, from other planets. It's made of material um, mixed with uh, a type of metal and crystallized material that is indestructible. Um, it's orgon, uh, it's ancient orgon energy that our ancestors use um, for increasing or building spiritual energy and they would go inside of these pyramids and they would um, do certain chants and the energy the chants would echo <laughs> You know, we would do certain chants and the chants would echo and that sound would vibrate through our souls and therefore we would become more powerful. Um, this is one thing these inorganic beings learned about us when they came to our planet was the fact that the pyramids, which are nothing but orgone chambers, and it gave off powerful orgone energy. When you're talking about orgone, you're talking about combining different material together, right? Radioactive material together that will reshape the atmosphere. Okay. And this is the important that we have the importance of us returning to our angelic powers and we need to create orgone. Not just I mean this is a small representation of something very big. A lot of our pyramids that we created were made of wood. Alright, because wood is plentiful on the planet. And like we said, wood creates kinetic energy. And wood combines with a lot of different types of energies here um, on the planet. Wood is extremely radioactive in its own form, all right? So you got to understand and understand, understand what we're dealing with when we deal with wood. Um, we had a lot of pyramids that we made of brick, all right? That we made of brick and we created the bricks. These bricks were destructible you could destroy it but it was bricks that we made the ancient pyramids that you see that's been on our planet for trillions and trillions of years we created those from other material and this is around the time when our planet was first created so these pyramids are with the planet these pyramids came with the planet all right <laughs> so you know that's something that um um they cannot be changed Orgone. Orgone is a force, just like electricity is a force, just like um, 
magnetism is a force, um, just like the wind is a force, the water is a force, orgon is a force, is a very powerful force, and it links directly into our souls and allows us to be more powerful beings, especially when we're exposed to this type of energy. All right. So, yes, we can have, you know, we create the orgone things inside of a house, but we have to create the orgone energy towers and chambers on the outside of our house. All right. Which is what takes us into a higher plane, which means that we expose that energy into the outside atmosphere. You know, your house is enclosed. You know, you you have energy inside of your house. That's why it's enclosed, everything, you know. And you can hold a certain energy inside your house. Because the wood, how your house is made of, creates that kinetic energy or that gateway. So, you know, you can do a lot in your house. You can create a whole lot of different things in your house. And, you know, um, travel like crazy wherever you want to travel all over the cosmos. All right. Um, also, the Orgon um, created that macabre energy. The macabre is literally um, Orgon, um, two Orgon chambers connected together. All right, so if you look at the, at the macabre, you have there'll be one here, and then there'll be another one on top of it, and there'll be another one. Going this way, right here, another one going this way is we're going to create connect it together. All right, four is a symbol of perfection, so it'll be like four or going um, uh, chambers connected together. And this is how we traveled. All right, we traveled through the macabre energy, and we could go anywhere we wanted to go across the cosmos. All right, um, sometimes we would use these vessels that we're in to travel, all right, and we would be inside of the pyramidal structures, and we would use these vessels, and we would travel, um, you, we would astral project, and we would go anywhere we want to go through astral projection, or either we had, we also had the physical macabre, um, structures that we could travel in as well. We could stand inside and that macabre, um, that powerful oracle macabre would uh, link it to our bodies and we can just think and it would rise up off the ground and go into space at some crazy speed that mankind could never ever imagine and we would literally travel through the macabre structure which is a real structure that we had um we would travel through the macabre structure um at the speed of thought so you know therefore 477 trillion miles per second okay which means that we knew where we were going and we traveled there and we traveled freely all right, so we gotta understand why um, these our enemies, these inorganic beings, have fought so hard against us to make sure that we don't go anywhere. They want to trap us on our planet because they are scared of what we can do and who we will, will return to. All right, but this is not their decision um, of how we travel, what we do, you know, where we go, who we are, whatever, it's not, it's not their decision to, um, to, um, tell us what we can and can't do, we're the angels of this world, and humans have no power over angels, even though they have, you know, tried to give themselves power, but understand who we are, they know that there's a certain penalty that they have to pay for um, hold, trying to hold back the angels. Um, so, just wanted to share that with you guys. Orgone, which is a force, extremely powerful force. All right, and this is why it's important for us to build structures of uh, orgone energy. And because uh, these structures, and we need to put these in these on the outside so that the 
energy will go into the atmosphere to help change the atmosphere to an orgone-based atmosphere. All right. So we have to reshape it, our planet, the way it's supposed to be. All right. Because because mankind has created what square buildings, rectangle buildings. That's all he's done. He's created rectangle buildings everywhere, and these rectangles, these rectangle buildings are incomplete. All right. Um, if they will all have pyramid tops on them, they would literally be complete. But that would be orgone energy, and they, um, you know, being a broken type of species, cannot take the powerful radioactive properties of orgone because it, it, it hurts them, all right? It hurts their bodies. It hurts their low-level technology. So um, what we're looking at is us having to reshape the planet the way it's supposed to be shaped, all right? Um, I was listening to um, Dr. Delbert Blair, and uh, he brought up some information and we talked about um, how the deserts, how it used to be lush green grass, and it used to be, um, it used to be um, black dirt where the deserts are, and that was a war that would that took place. But you know, I understand that he got his information from a lot of books that had been um, written by these so-called white white authors and I understand that they have you know orchestrated a different type of knowledge to make us think that our brothers and sisters um, were fighting against our own the giants against the the regular beings and I'm not saying that He's wrong, but I am saying that according to ancient knowledge, that there was a battle that took place, but it wasn't between us because um, our ancient texts tell us that we were lived in harmony, but there was um, species who came from other dimensional realms, from other universes, who came here to fight against us. And on those deserts is where a lot of our powerful technology, or sorry, a, power, a lot of our powerful intelligence was. And these energetic beings know this. They know this. So they would create the lie after they destroyed everything. All right. So there was lots of work on um, intelligence. All right. The deserts was not oceans. The deserts were lush green, but because of the radiation that was used to um, fight against the original structures and everything, um, that radiation was so thick that it's still there in the desert and all that lush green grass and everything that was there it literally just disappeared because um, we, we talked about these inorganic beings coming across some of our um, intelligence and using it against us as they fought to conquer our planet um, so you have to understand is that overstand brothers and sisters that a lot has changed here on the planet and we have to bring it back all right this is our planet we're the angels of this world but we cannot continue to let humans tell us what to do and guide us how to live and 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 you know force us to live according to their ways we have to force them to get off of our planet, which means that we have to change our entire mindset. We must, we must work hard to change the atmosphere. Prepare for war in the states here. I mean, you know, they put a lot of money into their military. You know, they're taking a lot of money, a lot of their monies out of their own systems, even their educational systems and other systems that they were once um, putting money into, and they put money into their their military because they're they're trying to build up their military for this inevitable war that's getting ready to take place. 
Okay, their money goes nowhere. It's not like they are tra uh, trade money with beans and other. Um, hold on here. It's not like they trade money with beings and other universes or, or galaxies. Their money is only good here. So they're trading money among each other. Um, trying to prepare themselves for this war that's getting ready to take place here on the planet. So you must understand this, that understand, brothers and sisters, that we have got to return ourselves. All right, we've got to return ourselves back to our true angelic state. First comes building. All right, I know a lot of you say, I'm tired of doing this, I'm tired of doing that, I'm tired of doing that. But if you don't build, if you don't create, if nobody's going to do this for us, all this intelligence that we had on the planet, we created. All right, we created massive tons of intelligence. And it was orgone, what they call orgone technology or orgone intelligence. Orgone was a force, a very powerful force, the most powerful force that we could ever link into. And this is what we must go back to. All right. In order to go forward, you must go backwards. You must remember where you come from. We as the angels of this world. The Orgone. The Orgone is responsible for a lot of our powerful energies. All right. Like I said, it's highly radioactive. And the properties of it, um, it's a, it's a, it, they design from different metals, different um, minerals, different crystals, all right? You combine all these different resources together, you get powerful energies, and this is what we did, okay? So, something I would just want to share with you all. We're going to talk a little, uh, talk later about some other things, okay? But um, just know that we are fighting each other right now and the angels have got to stop fighting each other you know i come across so many brothers and sisters i speak to them and they look at me all crazy maybe it's because i don't have a mask on or not but i don't care you know they look at me crazy and they they i can see their souls and how they judge me you know how they you know judging me up and sometimes i hear their thoughts and sometimes i want to um, approach them all their thoughts but then I say you know what I leave it alone you know because it's too much war going on between the brothers and sisters the angels too much war going on between the angels right now and the humans have caused this war between the angels alright so just want to bring that back or go alright this is something that helped our angelic bodies to work extremely high levels all right i pass it on to you hope you understand understand overstand everything that was said okay brothers and sisters you know the deal our power to the most chakra celestial angelic beings make chaos run with you forever ever ever remember chaos brings change all right not peace chaos is creating chaos is using your mind chaos is bringing back that chaotic energy angelic forces angelic forces are chaotic forces all right angelic beings are chaotic beings we are chaotic beings all right this is why mankind wants to keep us um under his control uh, in other words he wants us to be compliant to his um ways of living and his compliance is completely against the laws of nature and the laws of the cosmos, which means that we have to execute certain things. That's chaos, all right? All right, much power to you all.